Let us continue, Yakuza. I'm trying to remember what I got up to. Okay. No, hmm, no side quests. The Apprentice Part 2 feels so motivated without Hanachan around. Make it big with FX. Go to Sinria Avenue. Okay. It looks like there are a couple. Where was this? See, I'm terrible with names, but... Ah, uh, yeah. Sin... That's North. Okay, it's here. Okay. I am terrible with names, but... I can remember the general direction of things if I, uh... have been there. Nope, go away. Not now. Ah, oh, crap. Nearly missed that. I don't know how he missed that. I'm sorry, it looks like I was the one without manners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might see what kind of entertainment this game has. I know there's karaoke. I've already done the karaoke. I've embarrassed myself in that, but what else is there? Are you here for the Forex information session? Thank you very much. I'm a little interested in Forex, yes. I came by to learn more. Thank you very much. Please, right this way. We appreciate you taking your time out of your busy day to visit with us here at CL Trading. I'm Saki, the company president, and I'll be conducting your information session. Wow, an audience with the president himself. Indeed, I'm very excited about the products we have to offer. First, may I have your name? It's Akiyama. Thank you, Akiyama-sama. Now, Saki-san, what exactly is this Forex thing, anyway? Well, we're in the middle of a foreign exchange boom these days with all kinds of products on the market, but ours is truly a cut above the rest. Are you familiar with how Forex works? You make a small investment and convert it into several times that amount in foreign currency. You can expect high returns, 10 or even 100 times your original investment. Ah, but you can just as easily lose 10 or 100 times your original investment too. You're absolutely right. I see you know a thing or two about this after all. Those losses can be a real problem. Now, with your average forex trade, any loss becomes the responsibility of the trader who put up the money. <laughs> But we're different. We have absolute faith in our Forex investing system, so if one of our trades should fail, you can rest assured we'll cover it. So the investor gets nothing but profits? Exactly. Our company takes responsibility for all trades. The investor doesn't have to worry about a thing. And at 30 to, oh, at 30 to 40% profitability on a monthly basis, our results speak for themselves. 
The handling fee is just 1% of the profit, so you can see how you stand to gain. So, my money would increase by 29% every month with absolutely no losses. Neat. And for a limited time, invest at least 1 million yen with us right now, and you'll receive 200,000 yen cash back. We'll add that 200,000 to your investment, making your profit that much greater. A million yen. Right here, right now. Oh, well, it's not as though we expect you to walk around town with a million yen in your wallet. That's why we're offering low interest loans, so you can get your feet wet in the world of Forex without dipping into your savings. Ah, I see. Forex and loans both. Who knew? So that concludes my presentation on our company's Forex products. Do you have any questions? It sounds like I'd make out like a fat rat, but does your company profit from this? Yes, we're grateful for the many clients who've invested with us. Our company is growing, and our profits are constantly on the rise. Ah, so you spread the profits thin and wide. That's one way to do it. Did uh, you have any other questions? If something should happen, will I get my, the money back I originally invested? But of course. Our company compensates for any loss with its own money. So your initial investment will never decrease. Provided the company stays in business, you mean. What I want to know is what happens if the company goes under. Can I still recover that deposit? Would it be a trust account? Is the investor's money kept separate from the company funds, stashed away nice and safe in a bank somewhere? Uh, uh yeah, yes, of, co of course, at the Tautu Bank. Tautu Bank? Are you sure you don't mean Tautu Trust? Oh, yes, that's the one. My mistake. Your investment is deposited at Tautu Trust, where it's safe and sound. So what do you think? Have I convinced you of our program's many benefits yet? Uh, I can't say I'm entirely convinced. I'm going to have to pass. Huh? Hey! Wait just a moment, please, sir. You can't just leave it like that, not after hearing me out this far. Oh, there it is. Huh? Our entire staff will use any means necessary to convince you to sign a contract, even excessive force. I just love how his bodyguards let me do that to him. They just stood back and they're like, well, boss is fucked. No saving him. I'm so sorry, won't you forgive me, please? Now, this is quite the dilemma. I could always tell the police you tried to bully me into a bum deal. No, please, anything but that. Maybe this will help smooth things over? Uh, judging from this, I imagine you guys haven't been doing that well with the scam, huh? I'll let it slide this time, but if you try this nonsense again, I think you catch my drift. Yes, sir. I'm so very sorry. Everything will be completely legit from now on. A completely legit scam. What was the other one I had to do? Can I up my- Can I upgrade my abilities though? I think dodging is probably a good call. Smash an enemy's head against the guardrail. Sounds good. Huh. It's interesting because it doesn't look like there's many more moves left. Let's say I'm about halfway, if not further. Um, 
abilities. No, not that. Substories. The Apprentice, unmotivated about Hanachan not being around. Okay, I guess we need to find out information from the Hostess Club. So, since we're all about experiencing content here. I'm not interested in restaurants. Amusement and nightlife. Volcanic Volcano? What the fuck is that? Don't care about Shogi. I think I checked out... I don't think I've checked out the Sega stuff. Don't care about Mahjong. Done the karaoke. Batting center. Bowling. Hot Springs. Okay. Okay. That's piqued my interest. And then we have the clubs. Wait, the massage parlor is here again? Is it the same thing again? Hello, sir. This is your first time here, right? Then allow me to explain the rules. Aromatherapy massage is a mini game when you rapidly press buttons. It's the same thing, isn't it? Deluxe ma Okay, let's just see. Start a member stamp card for you. Oh boy. Super VIP. Every time you use our services, you'll earn one stamp. With enough stamps, you can unlock special massage options. Okay. Is this the same as last time? Probably is. But last time did not have the super VIP. Hi. Hope you're wait waiting long. I'm Mary and I'll be your massage therapist for this session. I look forward to working with you today. Follow me, please. Okay, it's not the same as last time. What the fuck? Finisher? Right stick? Finisher left stick. It's the same thing. It's the same fucking thing. It's just so weird. That's uh... I'm expecting a TOS violation any second. This is so unsettling. This one's a bit easier than the previous one. It's not as intent on destroying you. Wait, what, what's what's that syringe for? <laughs> What? Whoa, 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 what are you, what are you about to do with the syringe? <laughs> what? <laughs> Boy, you were way too tense. Yeah, because you pulled out a fucking syringe out of nowhere. What the fuck was the syringe for? Alright. Do it again. What is this? What the fuck is this? It's massage therapy. Was it not obvious, Amy? Was it not crystal clear? Yeah, yeah, yeah.
I mean, I, I assume at, at this part she's using her feet to massage me. Jeez, you know what, what would be really funny? If you're on your Twitch homepage, right? That shows who's streaming from the people you're following. And then you see a thumbnail from my stream and it's just this shit. I was perfectly fine until she pulled out that syringe. Well... I've never heard of a massage that they just suddenly pull out a syringe. I was too focused on the syringe that I just... Just don't pay attention to the syringe. What are you- what the fuck are you doing with the syringe?! What- what am I- what am I doing? I am an appeased dragon. But it didn't answer what the syringe was for. Wow, you must be really accustomed to getting massages, sir. It was so easy to work on you. What did you think? Did it feel good? Yeah. I'm so, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I'll walk you out, okay? Okay, so that's the deluxe package. What's the standard package? And of course I'm doing this because there is VIP and then deluxe VIP, which offers more options if I reach VIP. Oh damn, almost there. This one has been toned down in terms of visual, supporting visuals for this. I guess because, yeah, she's not half naked this time. But I mean, I, I guess contextually it makes sense. This is like, okay, except for that one, the one before this one. It's like, imagine she's on my back doing that. <laughs> the facial expressions, jeez. You're confused about the bar on the right. Okay, the mini game is circle is is increased tension and X is decreased tension. So it's kind of like I guess simulating massage in that regard. So the bar is your comfort. You can't get it to go too low and you can't get it to go too high. Yeah, she's giving me the massage, but I'm doing all the work. But we have to see this through, now that I've been promised that there's more content for this. I mean, there's no point in going the deluxe one, right? Like, I get the stamp either way. Nearly at that VIP status.
I've never had a massage, so I'm not sure how this experience is like. For all I know, this could be 100% representative of what a massage is. Never? That's sad. Well, I mean, professional. Like, I've, I've had people massage me, but not... Not like this. Haven't gone to a, a business. How about that? To get a massage. Your cousin is a massage therapist and has worked on you. You know what I love about that sentence is you had to clarify the fact that it's not this kind. I don't think anyone could be this kind of massage therapist. Oh my god. I don't think this kind of massage therapist exists. Okay, one more and then we- this is the VIP stamp. VIP status. Okay, we'll do the deluxe this time. Just so we're not bored of the visuals. You get to see that syringe again. I don't understand what the syringe was for. <laughs> it was not made obvious where that was going. It's like a horror movie. It might be worth looking it up. Maybe it's maybe it's a real thing that in massages they use a syringe for some reason. Too much, too far, too far. <laughs> How is this part of the massage? Yeah, this part, this part here just confuses the living fuck out of me. Like, why does she pull out a syringe? And the stacking voices, it's like, what? <laughs> okay, hang on. So apparently, no, but that's, that's like acupuncture. This is not the same thing. Like they use needling and cupping, but... Okay, saline injections. Here we go. That would have to be what it is. No? Oh, fuck. I don't know. I think I'm looking too much into this. Maybe she pulls out the syringe to essentially stroke it. <laughs> but she could have pulled out literally anything else. Why a syringe?
it's not exactly phallic. VIP oil massage. VIP oil massage, everyone. I wonder how this is going to differ. Hi, I hope you weren't waiting long. I'm going to make sure you get lots of special attention today. Follow me. Oh, okay, the smut train has officially left the station. All aboard! <laughs> it, it just suddenly shut up. For fuck's sake. I have to be more careful with this one. Okay, so this is more like the previous game's content. The one, yeah, in the previous game was a lot more difficult to control the meter. I guess this is the case now, I'm being careful. Okay, I'm prepared. I knew that's the direction it was going with the slow mode to start. Dude, that's not fair. Like, it just suddenly goes all the way up and I can't do anything. It just goes straight to the top of the bar. This might be even harder than the previous one. I pressed the- I pressed the button fucking once. Oh, I'm gonna waste all my money on this. It's okay, I have an item that lets me walk and earn money. Okay, focus! <laughs> Stupid minigame. I think I just need to let it go to the bottom. And not overdo it. I think that's the key to this one. Like, what the, why the fuck do I care about high school here? I think we're all just interested in seeing where the fuck the sequence goes. Dude! What the fuck?! <laughs> it wouldn't stop, I was press- I was pressing the- the button lower. LOWER! She's gonna, like, take a hundred thousand of my money. I wish you could experience what I'm experiencing, that's the thing. Like, if, if if it could show on screen the buttons I'm pressing so you know I'm not being a buffoon. It's legitimately that hard. Or they just want to milk out that VIP stamp. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oil me up! I'm not paying attention to chat, sorry. I, I have to be laser focused on this.
ちょっとぬるぬるするよ高級アロマオイルなのよいい香りでしょ Oh my god I'm not even paying attention to what she's doing. I'm like laser focused on the bar. Don't you dare. So this time it's a flower, not a syringe. I guess the previous one was, oh yeah, syringe, the most central thing I can pick for the non VIP massage. Alright, we're good. I apparently, I'm a disappointed dragon. Okay, we got one more to experience. I'm disappointed in myself too that I let this go on for as long as it did. We'll do one more standard so then we unlock. Congratulations! Now that you've earned 10 stamps, our shop recognizes you as one of our super VIPs. You'll now have the choice of experiencing our super VIP massage course. This incredible massage will take your body to paradise. We hope you enjoy it. Okay, well, now we have to do this quickly and then we'll see what, what the VIP, super, sorry, super VIP massage is. Super. If a syringe is normal VIP, no wait, if syringe is normal, VIP is a flower, what would super VIP be? <laughs> so stupid. Just between the music, the facial expressions, the animations, everything. It's like she's doing yoga on my back or something. This is gonna be expensive, isn't it? You find it too weird to be hot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now we have the super VIP course. Let's see if this changes your mind. The super VIP course is really something, let me tell you. I hear you'll experience a pleasure unlike anything anyone has ever experienced on this earth. A pleasure unlike anything. That's right. It's very rare for someone to get the opportunity to experience this kind of service, to be honest. I'm a bit jealous. It's that amazing? Believe me, you can't even imagine the kind of pleasure you're about to. Oh, sorry. I got a little too excited there. We'll be ready for you soon, so please have a seat in the next waiting room. Plot twist. They were just looking for someone really gullible. And it turns in- it's gonna be a fight instead. I hope so. 
a pleasure unlike anyone, anything anyone has ever experienced on this earth. Hmm. I hope you weren't waiting long. Here we go. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, Momiyama, and I'll be your massage therapist. I'm so excited to work with you today. <laughs> oh, you're so lucky, sir. Momiyama-san's one of the best massage therapists in the world. His incredible techniques won him a special prize in the world championships. I hope you're looking forward to the ultimate pleasure you're about to experience. Boy, oh boy, am I jealous of you. Ultimate pleasure? Wow, your body is divine, like a Greek god chiseled from the purest marble. I can't wait to work my magic on it. I'll see you when you're back from heaven. Please, yes, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oh, come on! <laughs> Damn it. It's, it's not a joke, like, it's very difficult. I'm gonna do it again. That's funny. That's <laughs> so good. No, it, it just completely shot up. I need to be careful. I thought it was going to be a joke one, but no, it's, uh, it's actually very difficult. But I do this for the content, you know? Okay, here we go. Oh, this is great. I love this game. Hey guys, is it sexual enough yet, or is it still too weird? Oh my god, it's near impossible once it goes over. <laughs> Do it again. I have to get it right. I had a feeling it was going to do something like this. I'm going to have to walk around town to recoup my costs, but it's fine. I can't fuck this up, like, another three times. I have to get it. It's so good. <laughs> the music as well was even better than before. I'm trying to be very careful with this. So distracting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Pick Yakuza content right here. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I was pressing the button so... Dude. I was pressing the button so much and it just would not go down. The bar just kept going up and up. I almost had that complete. Oh, fuck. Why am I being stubborn with this? This is... I mean, we've we've seen the joke. It's great. It's amusing. Why do I need to do this? Oh, 
You fucking oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna lose all my money. <laughs> I'm gonna have a meltdown over this stupid minigame. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, let's do this. What? <laughs> it just, it shoot. You can't. There's no way. Like, there's no conceivable way you can hang around anywhere above or below the middle. Like, it's stupid. It just instantly shoots up, and there's no, there's no remedy. Oh my god. I almost had 200,000 yen when I started tonight. Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I have never had to be so laser focused. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Wow, you sure are used to getting massages. Thanks to that, I was able to chisel away at your tense body like the great Mi Michael Michelangelo. How'd it feel? Okay, we're good. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, yeah, I wasted like 90% of my money. Okay, put that on, put that on. Okay, so I'll, I'm earning money as I walk now. I have no shame. Oh, we're not, we're not, we're not done yet. This is the game without Kiryu? No, he's in it. It's just the story's a bit split, kind of like 
the prequel. A little. Okay. Welcome, our entry fee is a thousand yen per person. Bath and table tennis, play table tennis, how to play table tennis. Bath and table tennis. The water feels great. I should take one of the hostesses out on a date here sometimes. Guess I should probably get out. Hello, would you like to play me in table tennis? Go easy on me. Hope you'll do the same for me. Okay, let's play. Okay. Uh... Normal shot, sinking shot. Okay. I just shot direction. Okay. Is Akiyama related to Kiryu? Uh, only in the sense that when... In the previous game we had... Well, not the previous, like one of the earlier games. That was that event with the uh, money explosion over the city. He was homeless at the time and picked up money. <laughs> oh my god. I'm never playing this minigame again. I'm really bad at this. I just, I, I haven't quite figured out how to, uh, pick power here. Oh my god. <laughs> this is really clunky with the camera. Uh, wait, is- okay, I think I just figured it out. Yeah, okay, so you have to hit it when the light flickers, otherwise it doesn't count. Okay. It's not quite like real table tennis, it's pretty much push the button at the right time. Which, eh. It's as if table tennis is a game of parrying. Alright. I'm gonna lose, like that's the thing. <laughs> There's no chance I'm winning this. Can we just end this already? <laughs> uh, why can't this be like Wii Tennis? If this was Wii Tennis, this would be a completely other story. Oh my god. It's, what, 15? I should just throw. <laughs> it's just for the... So why did the bath come before the game? If anything, I'd be taking a bath after this. No, I'm good. Alright. This was just a curiosity on the nightlife. Okay. Uh, what else has this game got to offer? Uh... 
Um, I mean, these are just places to eat. They don't really do anything. Yeah, what is volcanic volcano? Alright. That's piqued my interest. And then I guess the Sega Arcade and that'll cover the side content. I do need to do the hostess stuff, but we'll leave that to last. Wait, is this it? No, it's the next building. You know what, since Sega's here... What have they got this time around? Same claw machine... That's it? Wow, that's a, that's a little disappointing. Yeah, that's it, just the skill tester. I mean, to be fair, this is the remake of the PS3 version, so... I guess they didn't flesh that stuff out until PS4. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is different. This is a gambling hole? Virtua, Hi Virtua Fighter MVJC Pachinko Machine. Okay, I've heard about Pachinko. I've never really... Outside of... Gaming, like... Mario Sunshine. I've never really tried one of these things. Adjust ball speed. Okay. The fuck? Buy 250 balls. What? This is... This is just like a slot machine. This is not what I was expecting. Whoa. Okay. Uh, you. The fuck is this? I don't understand what's happening. I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening! I... Does anyone understand what, what's going on? Gameplay. Cool. That's our uh, money well spent. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I am just button mashing at this point. I've had six. I don't. I don't. So is this just a weird slot machine? Last spins from last jackpot. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this music loop is killing me. Chance? What do you mean, chance? Chance of what? <laughs> the music is killing me. Oh, this is, this is great. Quality content. Where okay, hit stop. Thank fuck. No more music. Gah! They could have come up with a longer loop, like if there's 15 seconds of music. <laughs> this, this was clearly a mistake. Like, what the fuck do you mean, pandas? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Evidently, um, jack- I don't know, I've hit some jackpots. The fuck is going on? <laughs> oh, finally some new music. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't understand it. If I go to Japan, I will never try this. Now, curiosity has been peaked. This, this needs a local to explain it. I can't believe there's still over a hundred balls left. <laughs> We're gonna be here forever! Do I have to do the whole thing or is this just like bail when I want? Because there is a button that says stop. From what I can gather, the balls go down and then they go to the middle and continue the cutscene. Slash ro dice roll, I guess. So it's like, not always guaranteed that you'll get to progress. Maybe I'm just really bad at it, like this is just atrocious.
We'll see this to the end. I want to see what the end result is. Maybe I'll earn some money. Or maybe this is just a weird arcade game. Supposedly this is super popular to do, so... I don't know. I've had one jackpot, apparently. So, I, I've gotten something? I don't- I don't- <laughs> I guess some balls get recycled and others don't. Because I see the number going up and down. so sorry. I didn't know that this was what it was going to be. This was like a, a curiosity of mine. Just, oh, I've always heard of Pachinko. What is it? Okay, well now I know. They always talk about it in, in these games and in other media. You know, just, just, so, just so you're not visually board. I'm not even pressing a button, this is just auto playing at this point. Music has stopped. <laughs> oh, dude, I still got another fifty to do. How's one not landed to progress the music? <laughs> oh, my God. No, but wait, I need to... This is covering it. There we go. I still have 20. I mean, it's more visually entertaining than whatever the fuck's going on in the middle of the screen. Okay, 
so I only have to put up with it for another 10 balls. However, that might last a bit, I don't know. But at least now there's, there's enough visuals to keep you entertained. Because fuck if I know what I'm doing. I just, I just want this to be over. There we go. Zero. No, back up to two. No, back up to five. Four, three, five, four, three, two, one, four, seven, ten, nine, 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 eight, seven, six, six, seven, six, six, seven, six, six, seven, five, four, five, six, five, six, four, three, four, three, six, seven, six. Fuck! Just end the game. I'm back up. How does this work? I'm back up to double digits. I don't understand how I've earned... Like, I was, it was down to three, and it's going up, if anything. Three, two, three, two, two, six, five, six, five. Four, three, two, three, four, three, two, one, six, five, six, four, three, three, four, three, three, two, three, two, one, zero, one, three, four, two, five, six, five, six, four, three, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, six, five, fuck! <laughs> Am I just... <laughs> oh my god, there it is, there it is, zero! Do I want to buy 250 balls for a thousand yen? Or do I want to keep my sanity? Tough one. Alright, so that was a pachinko. I think that's everything in the nightlife. Alright, now... We need to go to clubs. Because there's a side quest where we're talking to our hostesses. So I guess we gotta do that interaction. Fuck, my voice hurts from reading all those numbers. Probably look at a map, huh? Uh. Which one's the closest one? Elise? Go to Elise. It's the closest one. Yeah, um, it's one of those things that definitely require explanation, much like the other um, games in Japan. Wait, is Elise our one? Damn it, Elise is our one and we can't walk into it. Never mind. What's the other one? The one thing I dislike about these games is all the restaurants, the pictures they have out front. Oh man. It just makes me want to go to Chinatown here in Melbourne and get some food. Particularly hand-pulled noodles, they are so good. Oh, okay. Um, guess get rid of that. Okay, map. Jewel. Okay, so north.
let's see. Yeah, shit, I need money, don't I? Alright, it doesn't matter. Alright then. Would you like to request a specific girl? Hmm. No preference. Please come this way. Okay. <laughs> I can hear the clip sounds going off. Hello. Let's drink. I hope you enjoy yourself. Here you are. Oh cool, I don't have to read. Nope, never mind. Are you a college student by any chance? Yes, I am. How did you know? <laughs> In my line of work, you have to be able to notice things like that. Wow, that's impressive. You know, working as a hostess will teach you to do the same thing. It will? I'm not so sure. You don't drink, do you? Nope, I've had alcohol at college parties, but I just can't handle it. I prefer juice. Your customers must like that, it's cheaper. True enough. Wait, so you've never gotten drunk? That's right, I can't drink enough to get drunk. Oh, no, okay. Wait, huh? I think it's something you should experience at least once, if only to see what kind of impact it has on you. Uh, debatable, Akiyama. What? No, I couldn't. What if I started acting like a complete idiot? <laughs> That's kind of the point. Sorry, it sounds like another customer requested me. Please enjoy the rest of your time here. Excuse me. It's nice to meet you. I'm Erina. Okay, whatever, she's reading. Are you from the Kansai region by any chance? That's right. People here notice that right away. Is my accent really that different? Yeah, it is. Seriously? Then can you tell which part of Kansai I'm from? Oh, how the fuck am I supposed to know that? Alright, so- uh, I- someone pick- What did she, does she sound? Osakan from Kyoto? Hyogo? I don't know. <laughs> or I'll just close my eyes and let- Let the option decide. Could it be Hyogo? Nope. I'm from Kyoto. Fuck. Kyoto, huh? Now that I think about it, I can tell. Really? You're not just saying that? Really? There's something about you. Dignified, but also relaxed. It practically screams Kyoto. Okay. <laughs> you got kind of a restrained personality, don't you? Not like the other men in Kansai. Really? What do you mean? Mm. Kansai men are real laid back. They'll meet someone for the first time and act like they're best friends. But people around here always seem to act so formal, even around people who are, around, who are their own age. It makes me a little nervous. I see. I hadn't thought of it that way. <laughs> I mean, okay, if you compare him to Kiryu, he is more laid back. Um, eh. Actually, I think I'm closer to the Kansai type. I've always thought of myself as laid back. Maybe you're right. I'm a little nervous around you, but that's because you've got this aura about you. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to try and tone it down some then. I'm pretty good at that. You don't have to go that far. You're pretty funny. This is very different to the other games. Cheers. 
I'm Noah, nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, Akiyama-san, you seem like you know your way around the hostess club. I suppose. But I don't come by myself very often. I can get a little too... relaxed. That's my favorite type of customer. I can just take it easy and be myself. Sometimes CEOs will drag some of their new employees here. The poor boys get so nervous, it terrifies me. Yeah. Well, I'm always pretty calm, at home or at work. You're the first one I've ever met who's comfortable as here as he is at home. You look like you could curl up on the sofa and take a nap. You know, guys often go out of their way to impress girls, but I don't think they buy it one bit. You've got to be yourself. That way there aren't any surprises. It's true, that's a really good observation. Ha. So what kind of girls do you like? That's a good question. Oh, come on. You don't really want to know that, do you? Here, let's drink. So that must mean I'm not your type. Hey, why are you looking so down? My last customer said he wanted a girl who was more ladylike. Okay. I don't know what the fuck it is with this game, but like... In these club situations, it's really fucking bizarre. Like, for the life of me, I could not figure out what the fuck it meant by any of that. I tried my best to make the girl in the previous game cute. Everyone was like, nah, she's not cute. Tried to make her gorgeous. Nah, she's not gorgeous. Tried to make her refined. Nah, she's not refined. Went completely random. Oh yeah, no, that's refined. So, okay, more ladylike, huh? I don't think he's going to be requesting me next time. <laughs> Maybe you could try changing your image, Jesus Christ. Don't worry about it. Hey, I like you. Okay, just... Well, let's just reassure. Hey, I like you. You're nice and easy to talk to. Really? Thanks. I bet you're popular. Hmm. Well, sort of. I have some regulars, but not that many. Then you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. If you're concerned, you could try requesting me. <laughs> Next time I will. Cross your heart. Is that time up already? Looks like it. Right. Oh yeah, this is wild to me, like the business card part. <laughs> Maybe I'll request it next time. And the presentation of it. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> I could ask for it next time I'm here. 11,000 Okay, so look, if I was to do this in real life, right, let's let's take a look at this. What does that convert over? Uh, 11,550 yen to AUD. $124.62. I mean, there was a drink. But to have this conversation in its entirety... It would have cost a hundred and twenty-four Australian dollars, or if we put it in USD. Hang on, one sec, to USD. Why did it not update? Eighty-six American dollars. Or in Euro, eighty-four Euro. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Running out of money. Okay, let's let's just see if we can Oh, hold on. What is this? Oh yeah 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 shit. And then they follow up with an email. No, 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 we need to do one of these. Um... 
kidnapper who's taken to the rooftops. You can also see a sexy detective facing off against the kidnapper. A married couple in Little Asia. Alright, uh, rooftops. Let's do rooftops first. Where's the nearest rooftop? Uh, let's see. That goes... I guess across? Wait. You... I missed a bit of it. Always prefer Kiryu. Yeah, I mean, I... I haven't seen enough of this dude to kind of make up my mind about him, but he's he's snarky. He's a bit of a smart ass, but not enough to uh, make up my mind about him yet. Um, Kyria looks like Jin from Tekken. <laughs> haven't played much Tekken. I'd have to look it up. The moral of the story is don't change people, love them for who they are. Yeah. But I mean, everyone, to some extent, isn't 100% themselves when they meet someone. Okay, so it's uh, somewhere on the rooftops is gonna be... I guess we just need a look, right? I mean, it was- I think a drink was covered in the cost, so... But, yeah, expensive. But I guess... It looks like the context from what I've seen is... Companies will take their employees there, so I guess if the company's paying, whatever. But it's, it's companionship, so I don't know. Okay, what do we have here? Mm, it's not regist registering the camera. I might be able to go talk to him. Huh? Hold on, I was just walking around the movie theater in Theater Square, but now I'm near Tenkaichi Street? This map makes no sense. How am I supposed to know where I'm going? I'm gonna have to go back to the rooftop to see if I can figure it out. Oh, it's just a memo. But XP gained. I didn't do this, like, max, uh photo stuff in the previous game, because there wasn't really much incentive. Whereas in this, it appears that you learn new moves. So... I'm gonna... I'm gonna try and find the spots. Hmm. Hey, hey, Gammy, how's it going? I guess just if you see anything in the distance out of place. It should be obvious, like it shouldn't be something so well hidden. Okay, so it's not this rooftop. This goes to Sky Finance. Okay, so where's another rooftop? Another rooftop is... I guess go east? Alright. I'll figure it out. If it's kind of tedious to find, I might just look it up just in the interest of time. 
but I'll try to naturally discover it. Man, uh, mind if I ask you for a little advice? You see... Oh, wait. No, it's... <laughs> whoa, 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 what's the lady in the background doing? <laughs> Just, did you see that? Just spinning around in a circle. Otherwise, I might just look up where it is. So hopefully, going up this way might reveal it. Way here? No. Oh, there we go. Roof. Okay, let's see. It should be obvious. I can't remember. I think this is the lover's quarrel. I can't remember. Sexy Typhoon. Number one sexy pub. Why can't we go there? What is even a sexy pub, anyway? Uh, this just let out. No, going back, going back. That's way too soon. Oh, there, 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 there. Okay, okay. We got it. We got it. We got action. What the fuck is going on? What? The fuck's going on? Oh, what? Okay. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Um, I want ride right in the jewels that's got her. I wonder what color they were. Ride right in the jewels that's got her. Hurt. The headbutt's good. Just love that this equates to shit. What's the perfect status update? Gotta get them likes and then epiphany.
Hey Mac, I just saw an intense scene. A lady detective chased down a man who kidnapped a boy. The kidnapper tried to get a cheap peek under the detective's skirt, but the boy took advantage of the situation and rammed it where it counts. The essence of lion reaving. Okay, these are worth chasing down. I can't I can't believe it that act they they made the whole Mac thing not annoying and useful. Okay. Where's the next one? The next one is a married couple wages a bitter war in Little Asia. Little Asia. Alright, we're going there. Oh, yeah, well, let's just leave this roof rooftop and figure it out. Yeah, don't ask me what the fuck that was. <laughs> Do you think I know? I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck that massage was in the pachinko game. Okay, Little Asia. It's at the back, right? Hotel District... Maybe I'm wrong. Kunrai, Park Alley, Park Boulevard, Purgatory... That's Champion District... Pink Street, Pink Alley, Nakamichi Alley, Nakamichi Street... The fuck is Little Asia? Pink Street, Sinria Avenue, Pink Alley... Pink Alley. Or is it the name of a place? There's Club Asia. Which might be in Little Asia. Let's try. Let's... Let's, let's try. What's the description of it again? Hang on. Married couple. Okay, we're looking for a married couple in an argument. What the fuck, dude? Fuck off! <laughs> oh, these battles. There's no reason for me to do any other move. This move is just way too good. Okay. I mean, you would assume Club Asia is in Little Asia. Why'd I have to wear this today? There's no way I can roll up to the hostess club in this getup. Michiko would roach me in front of everyone. Okay, whatever. Doesn't look what. Um, yeah, where is Little Asia in Yakuza? I want to see where it is. Your little Asia. Okay, so apparently it is... Where all the narrow entrances are blocked by foreigners. Go to... Hang on. 
go to Pink Street North. And then look across the beam shop. Okay. It's not labelled as Little Asia in the game, so... I guess just look for two people standing by. Anyone could be a couple. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. This might be it. Okay. What now? Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> These are great. A cheating husband and his wife who found him out. Thought they were going to argue, but what I saw was a super high-speed kung fu battle. The husband lost, but I learned not to relax even if you're guarding. <laughs> this is so dumb. Alright. Cool. I, I, I guess. Um, Sub-stories. I did go to the club, so hold on. Uh... The bar in the champion district, I think, is what he said. These are fun to look up, I guess. Hopefully the one hostess club is enough, but we'll see. Maybe I have to visit all of them. Hey, I'm Aoki. Want to know what's happening around town, or if anyone needs helping ham? I've hand. I've got your info hook up. Okay. I'm looking for hot tips. Let me think. Sorry, got nothing right now. Okay. That's because I've been on top of everything. Wait. So what bar is it then? It's not this one, is it? No, it's not this one. What the fuck? I don't know what bar that is. 
It's not in the list of things. Yeah, it's not in the list. Okay. Uh. Underground mall. Of course it is. Okay. I guess I can't complain. It's technically a different map. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. I was just checking up how much money I have now. I'm still nowhere near to recovering all the amount I spend on the massage parlor. Do I have cylindrical garbage? <laughs> I mean, it's cool they added this area. Okay. There. Nope, fuck you. Oh, Akiyama-san, good to see you. Ready to tell me about the girls at- Ugh, Fuck, Jewel and Shine? Oh my god! That's so annoying. It didn't specify in the... So I went to the one that it wasn't. I had the, a two and three chance to pick one of the ones that I had to go explore. Of course, I picked the one that I didn't have to go explore. Ah, uh, fine. Where's Jewel? Jewel is up there. Wait, I went to Jewel! Shine? Alright, we'll go to Shine. Am I losing? I, I thought I went to Jewel. Okay, I'm definitely at Shine. No preference. Another hundred and twenty dollars out down the drain. Okay. Come,乾杯。乾杯。楽しんでいってくださいね。はい、どうぞ。<laughs> Akiyama Shunda. 
Hey, I've seen you somewhere before. Were you in a magazine recently? How'd you know? I'm flattered you remembered. You're famous. I suppose you get that a lot. You get a lot of folks requesting you. Not really. Sometimes I have no requests, like now. Guess I got lucky then, huh? Hey, do you like comedians, Akiyama-san? Hmm. As much as anyone, I guess. I've never gone to live a sh to a live show or anything. Why do you ask? Are you into comedians? Well, if I'm gonna go out with a guy, he's got to be able to make me laugh. Huh, I see. Well, that means I'm no good then. Fuck do I know about making people laugh? Nothing. I'm not funny at all. I went to a building the other day, and this dude totally threw a fucking cleaver at another person. And there I was in an alley, just like a pervert. It wasn't funny at all. Just stood there. Took a picture. Put it on Facebook. That was my day. <laughs> I don't believe that. I'm sure you could crack a joke if you try. Try one now. You'll get me interested, for sure. Isn't that just a little tough to do in the spare of the moment? Oh yeah, people... <laughs> they almost synchronized the two hostesses doing the, the laugh animation. <laughs> They're synchronized. Or there's a nose thing going around, maybe. Oh boy. Oh, I got a request. Please enjoy yourself. Bye for now. So, what was your name? Shizuka, it's nice to make your acquaintance. <laughs> That's kind of amazing. Huh? What is? You're so polite. And look at that posture. You're not like the other girls, are you? I guess so. I practice Japanese dance, so I may have picked up some of my manners from there. That's impressive. It kind of makes me nervous, though. You don't have to be so nervous around me. Do you do much reading, Akiyama-san? Reading? Well, I'll pick up a magazine once in a while, but reading usually makes me sleepy. Oh, that's too bad, then. What kind of books do you read? Recently, I've been reading a lot of teen romance novels. Ha! Ah, somehow, that doesn't surprise me. You should try reading one sometime. They're really interesting. Uh, yeah, I'll have to think about that. So, if there's one thing that's become apparent just by looking at the girls in this club, I had no fucking idea what I was doing for that hostess game where I had to dress up a girl. Quite clearly. What are you two talking about? Hmm? Oh, Shizuka-chan was just explaining how she fell in love with me at first sight. She did what now, really? Oh, please, Akiyama. Is something wrong? Are you half Japanese by any chance? Yes, I am. Huh, I thought so. You've got that look about you. Really? I didn't know that. My father's Japanese, but my mother's from Portugal. Can you speak Portuguese? Yep, I'm pretty good at it. Wow, I'm impressed. Wanna say something in Portuguese for me? Oh, I hate being put on the spot. Yeah, this right here is fucking annoying. <laughs> it can be. Say something! Say something funny in Spanish! Say something romantic in Spanish! I don't fucking know. Maybe some other time when we're alone, okay? <laughs> what kind of work do you do, Akiyama-san? Work? Yes, I'm curious too. Well, take a guess. What? I have no idea. 
I'm thinking show business. Nope. Really? Hmm. Hmm. Finance? I bet you work in finance. Wow, you got it. Really? Oh, wow. I had no clue. What a guess, Ryo-san. How'd you guess? Um, you just had a certain look about you. <laughs> no. What about you? What do you usually do? That's a secret. Maybe I'll let... I'll tell you once we get to know each other a little better. You're just trying to get me to request you next time, aren't you? Not at all. You can't ask a girl about a private life right off the bat. Gotta tease it out over time. Okay, okay. Hopefully next time, then. Guess it's about that time. Oh yeah, you're right. I'm collecting cards. <laughs> Another a hundred plus dollars. They charge you for picking a hostess as well, so it's gonna cost more next time. Okay. So... Let's go back to the comedian and... Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah, right. The other one didn't email me. I guess we didn't really hit it off. Quickly, quickly in the bar. Before yeah, that is annoying. Oh, Akiyama-san, good to see you. Ready to tell me about Jewel and Shine? What do you mean? Oh my god, I... Do I have to... I have to do multiple visits, don't I? Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna have no money by the end of today. <laughs> am I... Uh, I am earning, yeah. I guess I could, like... <laughs> Wait. Fuck yeah. Earning money. I'm gonna do Mario Party style, like, just palm and then do this. No. <laughs> it's negligible. <laughs> it's not worth it. I have, a. Uh, I have been very questionable with the money spending today. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna calculate how much I spent on massages in terms of, like, Australian money and American money and Euros. It was at least 140,000 yen, so we'll see how much that comes out to. I'm gonna hate the answer. It'll probably be like a whole year's worth of rent on massages. Okay. Yeah, so it's over a thousand US dollars <laughs> on massages.
Uh, I guess. Okay, let's request a... What do you mean, crap, I don't have it? Wait a second, what is it, sir? Sorry, I'll come back later. 20,000 yen. I can't afford it. Um... This is a first. I don't think I've ever played this game and not had enough money. For fuck's sake. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I, I have a silver plate, I noticed, so I'll be able to sell that for quite a bit. These dudes are just put directly in front of key spots in the city. I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm, I feel like having another one of my donuts that I bought. <laughs> okay. I'm here to sell. Which one did I eat? I ate the uh, one that had like the vanilla cream. It was pretty good. It's very fluffy. Okay, now I have enough. That one would probably be your choice too. It was pretty good. The one directly above it is like Snickers. So it's... I think it has like peanut butter in it as well and cream. And chocolate. So, I don't know. And then the other one was gl just the basic glazed one and the other one was like... Strawberry icing and then jam in the middle. Okay. Oh, she's got a... She's got a love bar. Okay, proper introduction. What would you like? Ooh. <laughs> Spring water, huh. Let's just keep it casual, a beer. I'll have this. Ah, uh, don't tell me you're drunk already. That's no fun. Do you want something to eat? Oh, I am? Chicken! Ch chicken fucking chicken basket! You like that, Akiyama-san? I'm a little surprised. I'll put the order then. I already like her. Love hearts appeared when I ordered the chicken. It's like we're made for each other. Yeah, 
Too bad she's virtual. Hey, Ria-chan, can I ask you something? You're a college student, right? Nope. Really? I'm currently taking a break from college. Oh, I didn't know that. Did you take a break just for this job? Yep. So, what got you started in this line of work? The club was recruiting new girls, and one of my friends asked me to go with her to see what it was like. I decided I might like to try it too. Before that, though, I'd always been intrigued by the idea of being a hostess. So what about being a hostess intrigued you? Well, I didn't really know what goes on inside a hostess club at first, but it's a pretty popular job for girls right now, so I wondered what sort of world a hostess club might be. It sounds like you're the adventurous type. I am and I'm loving it here. Well, it's good you like being adventurous, just don't get mixed up with the wrong kind of people. Ha, <laughs> don't worry, I won't. I have some great news. I'm going to be writing a column in a magazine. A magazine? You? Wow, congratulations. That's a pretty big deal. I know. So what sort of column is it? I'm going to write about different girls each issue, like girls from other clubs, I mean. Other clubs? You mean other hostess clubs? Maybe. But I don't think it has to be just hostesses. Huh? Well, who else? Well, they just said I should profile other girls, so I thought it might be cool to write about other girls with all sorts of occupations. That makes sense. Sounds interesting. Oh, I have to think of a name for my column. Oh yeah? Yeah. What would be a good name, do you think? Let's see. Well, it should be- it should at least have your name in the title. That's good for a start, right? Yeah, great idea. As for the rest... <laughs> Leave it to Rio. Rio's All Night Carnival. Dude, like that- How about Rio's All Night Carnival? Ooh, that's good. <laughs> is it really that exciting? Heck yeah, it is. It creates an image of the girls in of Kamurocho partying together. You've got talent for this, Akiyama-san. Nah, it's no big deal. Well, maybe I'll go with that. I'll let you know how it goes. I'm looking forward to it. Akiyama-san, can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. I've got a dog and I'm looking for a companion for him. Why is that? He's lonely all by himself. I thought I should get him a friend. Ah, I see. And? I went to the pet store a while ago and they had an adorable pair of dogs who were brother and sister. I thought about getting the girl, but they just look so happy together. I couldn't bear splitting them up. You mean that your dog would get a companion, but the dog in the pet store would lose his. Exactly, so I left without getting either. Well, I guess there wasn't much of a choice, huh? Anyway, a few days ago I went back to the pet store and saw a familiar face. The dogs from before? Yes, but this time there was only one, the male. Oh. Some time had passed since I had last seen him, actually. He'd grown quite a bit, and he looked like a scruffy old man. I don't think anybody's gonna want him now. Except for you, right? I doubt anyone else will buy him. Plus, he's all alone now that his sister's gone. <laughs> you want a dog that looks like an old man? Sounds like fate, you should buy him. Do you really want a dog that nobody else wants? Go middle. Sounds like fate. There had to be a reason he was still at the pet store. Maybe he was waiting for you all this time? You should buy him. Yeah, I think you're right. I kind of feel a connection to him. Don't ever think it. Just follow your gut. Go back one more time and make your decision right there and then. You're right. I'll do that. Yeah, that's the best decision you could make. Thanks so much for the advice, Akiyama-san. I'm a little hungry. Would you like to share a fruit platter with me? 
What? Like, we have chicken. What do you mean fruit platter? <laughs> we have a bucket of what? What? We have a we have a bucket of chicken. Unless I uh, like, I'm I'm here listening to her and I'm just devouring the chicken, not giving her any. Like, oh yeah, that's, that's a great idea. Yep. Hmm. Yep. Get a dog. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh my god, the sauce on this chicken. But yeah, yeah, no, just don't worry, don't overthink it. Get, 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 get the dog. Get the, get the dog. Is this, is this pa paprika? Excuse me. Is this paprika in the chicken? I think they put pa paprika in the chicken. It's really good. Oh, oh. <laughs> get the fruit platter. Okay, I'll order it. That's upselling. And then she's like, oh, well, look at the time. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you have to see you again. Now then. Thanks for coming today. Thanks for requesting me today. I hope you'll cheer me on as a columnist. See you around. I should reply to her email. Hmm, what should I write? Good luck on your magazine job. I had fun today. Personal. I mean, probably all three is the right thing to do, but... Like, one... What is it? It's like, three, one, two. In that order. I had fun today. Good luck on your magazine job. I'll see you again soon. Done. But now we have to pick one. Tell him about Rio. There we go. Rio chun from Shine, huh? Now that's one great girl. But, I digress. What's Ryo-chan's favorite drink? Oh, I, I don't know- I don't know this. I don't know this. Um... Fuck. I'm gonna look this up. Ryo Yakuza 4... <laughs> favorite drink. <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. There's no option. Okay, rosé champagne, but it's not worth spending the money. That's the... T <laughs> That's the note. And here I wanted to order a bottle of the fancy gold stuff. Nah, close enough, I suppose. Now... Okay, dog. That one's easy. I could talk about pets forever. I've got to remember to use that. Now, let's see. Is there any job? Uh... Oh... Okay, hold on. One sec. Pinup model? Wants to get famous through magazines, but like, yeah, but. Okay, hang on. What? But... Hang on. Okay, apparently I gave the best response for the email, so that's great. Um, but anyway.
It doesn't say what it is. <laughs> Hold up. Okay, it's a pinup model. Wow, that's some aspiration. Anyway, you've certainly brought me a lot of info, but are you sure it's reliable enough to print? It's as good as gold. Great. I'll write this baby up and hand it in to a shibe son. She's downright scary if you miss a deadline. Oh, and also, a shibe son will be bringing your payment this way. So would you mind stopping again? Okay, cool. I mean, look, we could, we could either play this and get this wrong or get it right. If I get this wrong, she'll probably be mad. There she is. Akiyama-san, the article I wrote with your info was a huge hit. I'm getting a lot of thanks from guys saying it really helped them having a great time at the club. And it even improved my standing among my fellow editors. It's all thanks to you. I got a bonus for the article, so I had him throw in a little extra your way. Here you go. Doesn't even- doesn't even cover what I spent. Okay. Alright, I mean, look, I- I- I gave information for one girl. We'll do another one another time. I don't- I don't want this all to just be this, like... Um... What am I even doing? <laughs> That's... The big question. I gotta get Kido and the client list back from Midorikawa. Maybe I should ask the people around here for in. Ooh. Uh, yeah, right. They they uh. They broke into my building, so I guess I should ask around. You don't get any time to react. Uh, it was a fun little distraction tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. The money lender has been in one mess after another. I think it's called Sky Finance. Yeah, I heard about that murder from a bit ago. Hmm. Maybe it was money problems. Just shows you shouldn't take out a loan from this kind of place. Yeah. I think the problem is more with murder than their ability to finance a loan. Hey, you got a second? Uh, sure. How can I help you? Did you see a group of Yakuza come by here maybe two, three hours ago? Yakuza? You know, you're in Kamurocho, right? That shouldn't be such a surprise. Oh, and they were uh, probably dragging someone behind them? Hmm. There was something going on over here earlier. I could hear the shouting from all the way over on Nakamichi Street. Nakamichi. So you didn't see anything then? Oh, heavens no. If I had, I certainly wouldn't be standing here like nothing happened. I usually turn heel and run when I see fights breaking out. Huh, okay then. Thanks anyway. Uh, Nakamichi Street. Here. There's no quest marker, so I just gotta... Find it. Don't go near the dude with the wig. Sorry to bother you. Did you happen to see some suspicious Yakuza men around here? Yeah, like two or three hours ago, they went down that way. 
One of them was all bloodied up too. They look pretty dangerous, so you might want to keep your distance. I'll be careful. Thanks for your help. The Millennium Tower is a trouble magnet. It seems like there's another crime scene there every year. Yeah, wasn't there a helicopter attack last year? Kamarocha has been a busy place for us cops since that building went up. So much crime. Yeah, but this city still keeps drawing in more and more people. Can't figure out what it is about this place that's so damn attractive. That new girl at Elise Lily Chan is so easy on the eyes. I swear she does more for my health than any of those Toroners I drink. Yeah, but isn't she older than me? That's what makes her so great. She'll spoil you like you're her own little brother. Go let Big Sister take care of you. Believe me, you need it more than I do. Ew. Hmm, an old lady could make for a good change of pace. My treat today, so what do you say? Time's a wasting. Are you kidding? Oh my god. It's going to be super fucking windy again. I just heard it. I think it's actually raining, though, this time. Oh, no. But yeah, she's cute and sexy at the same time. Just seeing her drives me crazy. Let's get in there and request her. Alright, well... Doing well with that. Wait, didn't he point it out this way, or am I wrong? Went to the theatre underground. Oh. I don't think I've been there before. I guess this is a, this is a new area. Oh, okay. Hey pal, you see some Yakuza come through here? Oh, you bet, those hot Tsushima punks. I knew it, listen, I need to get by. Sorry, no can do. Why not? The hot Tsushima boys lock the door down below after they pass through, and let me tell you, that door ain't nothing if not sturdy. <sighs> Damn it. Now what? Hold your horses. We can't stand those jerks, so we'll give you whatever help we can. The tunnels here connect with the basement levels of the Millennium Tower. All you gotta do is find the elevator at the back of the tower and you're golden. That'll take you right down where you need to go. Perfect. Thanks. That was our home before those Hatsushiba snots boot us, uh, booted us out. If you help us return the favor, we can finally get it back. Oh yeah? Well, no guarantees, but I'll see what I can wrangle. Chicken! Chicken! No. Ah, fuck! I pressed down. No, we don't want the rooftop. An elevator at the back of the Millennium Tower. This one? Nope.
I can't think of where else it would be. These are the only two elevators that I see. Ah, uh, there's a middle floor, I guess. The fuck? <laughs> what? Am I blind? The only elevator I see is the one that says to go to the roof. Maybe it's not accessible through here? This is so confusing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I saw a different NPC and then it put glasses and a vest on him. Oh, what? Wait. Wait, what the fuck? Now it's pointed out. Done. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is it. So it's like a service elevator or whatever. Ah, uh, who the hell are you? Name's Akiyama from Sky Finance. Always a pleasure. Sky Finance? What's a lone shark like you doing here? Ugh, look, I don't mean to offend, but I couldn't care less about the punks like you. Mirikawa, where is he? Huh? What do you want with the boss? No one borrows anything from me without a contract. The fuck you talking about? I don't have time for this. You have something that belongs to me. You're going to give me my registry back and let Kido-chan go, or else. Like hell we are! How about we bash a damn skull in instead? Trust me, it'll be a whole lot easier if you just return what you borrowed. But, suit yourself. Guess it's just one of those days. They got like a whole... This is weird. <laughs> they got a whole basketball set up in the utilities area. I mean, I would understand in a warehouse, but like... <laughs> this is all... 
what I can assume electrical and gas. I don't know, I, I wouldn't want a ball potentially hitting some of that shit. Oh, right, okay. Ooh, just... Whoa. This place is ours. Yakuza ain't welcome. Relax, pal. I'm no Yakuza. I'm a money lenderer. One who has business with Midorikawa, the guy who's been hanging down here. Oh, sorry about that. This place used to be our home until the Hatsushiba came along and kicked us to the curb. There was some kind of ruckus going on, so my buddy and I figured we'd try to take the place back while they were distracted. He just ended up chickening out, though. Guess that rock is just you, then? I was hoping to settle things peacefully, but that doesn't seem to be working out too well. I suggest you get out while you still can. I can take it from you. No way, I'm tagging along whether you like it or not. Don't be ridiculous. It's not safe for you here. I'm not gonna let you push me around like some old senile fool. The name's Kagoro Suk. Kegawa, and I'm going to punish those Yakuza bastards for everything they've done. <sighs> Before those thugs showed up, this was practically a homeless paradise. The closest thing most of us ever had to a real home, a real family. But then they had to go and ruin it. Not like some fancy pants rich boy would understand how it feels. Alright, you can come with me if you want. Really? Wow, thanks pal. Just stand back and let old Kagura show you how it's done. Knock yourself out. Oh, he's actually following me. Hey there, friends. You wouldn't happen to know where I could find uh, Hatsushiba-san, would you? Give us back our home, you filth. Ah, first the old geezer upstairs, and now this. Guess the only way to shut you up is to kill you. I mean, okay, he, he, he actually is helping. He's still alive. Are oh, you off? No, stop it. Okay, now they're dressed in hoodies and sweatpants. I can beat him up with a pile of magazines? Hang on. Yeah! Okay, that didn't do as much as I hoped. Work. Bottle. Okay, the big boss. He's got his own health bar. Oh no, the homeless dude is losing. Alright, this will be easier once. There's less of them. Get the bat. Come here. Oh, 
yeah, that did not work out as what I thought it would. Okay, it's another one of these dudes that just blocks constantly, but thankfully my kicks are quick enough. And we got the homeless dude helping. It's actually coming in very handy because he'll grab him and then when he does, every single one of my hits connect. Apparently we're just going to let him get away? What? Oh no, go through here. Okay. Yeah, I'll just use it. Hmm. Ah, crap! He locked the door before he ran off. Hmm. Oh, I know. My buddy Kakuda should still be around here somewhere. He used to be a locksmith. A door like this should be a cinch for him. The only problem is he's a real yellow belly, a coward. He's probably hiding somewhere around here, waiting for all this to blow over. Guess we'd better go find him then. Come on. I guess just... Hiding somewhere, huh? Oh, there he is. Uh, this him? So this is where you've been holed up. What gives, Kaku-san? Suke-san, you scared the shit out of me. Almost literally. Hey, no complaining. You were supposed to help me fight these punks, remember? But I'm so scared. I talk big game, but I practically pissed myself when the punches actually start flying. Thankfully, we don't need you to fight. Now, come on. You're coming with us. There's a door we need you to open. Oh, is that it? Okay. But make sure you clear everyone out before you call me over. The last thing I need is a dirty pair of underwear to distract me from my lockpicking. Yikes. Oh, now, now there's more. Way to recycle the corridor. <laughs> Good physics. I'll let the homeless dude handle the other guy. We got him in a corner. Just kick back. I mean, figuratively and literally. <laughs> I am kicking back. And I'm also kicking him back. I, I didn't mean for that to be a pun. I was like leaning back in my chair. Guess that's it. I don't see anyone else. Should be safe for your pal Kakuda now. You got that right, those creeps were no match for us. Anyway, I'll go get Kaku-san. Be back in a jiff. Think you can open this one, Kaku-san? Hmm, let me see. Ah, it's one of these. Yeah, this shouldn't be a problem. 
pen there. You have it. Very nice. Thanks. Oh, no. <laughs> there it is. The classic Yakuza sofa boss enemy. Just steadfast and holding a sofa. You could... You could have a car crash into him and he would still hold the sofa up. Timeless dude's got this. He can hold his own. This has to be a team effort, dude. Wow. <laughs> so dumb. His animation glitches when he gets hit. I hate these enemies, I really do. Good job. Not another one. Time for Kakusan to work his magic. Think you can open this one too, Kakusan? All right, give me a sec. Voila! Thanks, Kakasan. No, oh, fuck another sofa, dude. They don't appear to be nearly as threatening as the previous game. Maybe because it's early on. But for whatever reason, he didn't take a swing at me. <sighs> hey, Kakusan. What about this one, Kakusan? On it. There you go. Thanks. What the hell are you doing in here, Gramps? Stop! What are you doing to my precious machine? What? Do you care about a broke down piece of junk? Now get the hell out of here. This is our turf. Dr. Miramina, you've come back too? Sigakawa san, perfect timing! The doc used to help us back when we lived down here. Mind giving us a hand? Sure, what's one more fight? Hey buddy, I'm tagging in for the old guy. Hatsushiba son's waiting for me, so let's make this quick, alright? Cocky little shit, ain't ya? Alright, fine, I'll kill you then go work on your dipshit little friends. Is that- is, is this really going to reference what I think it's gonna reference? Another game with a Back to the Future reference. He just needs to say the line. Scott. 
Oh, I thought this dude was on our side. He just was kind of standing there. I wasn't sure what he was doing, but okay. You want to get kicked? Get kicked. Look at me, I'm all glowy. Hmm, my machine might come in handy if I can actually fix the Dawn thing. You're a real lifesaver, by the way, thank you. Glad I could help. That's some machine you have there. You want to know about my machine? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. This is the IF7R, a creation of mine that allows you to relive your... Hey, uh, I actually don't have much time to chat right now. As for you... Shit. I take it Hatsushiba's son's somewhere up ahead? Damn right he is. He's... It's not gonna be a cakewalk you're expecting, though. He's gonna wreck your scrawny ass. Sorry, Suki-san. But I'll be going it alone from here. Hey, I get it. You are a big help. Just be careful, you hear? I will, thanks. Okay, Kaku-san. One more door. Sure thing. Okay, they didn't let him see it. Thanks. See you guys later. Yeah, I mean... Come on, that look, that's... It's gotta be it. Kido-chan. Akiyama-san. Hey, you're good. Real dedication to the job. Mirarikawa-san, I presume. And I take it, that's the Hats Hatsushiba clan chairman? I don't know what you think you're doing with Kido-chan and my registry, but what do you say you give them back? You heard the man, boss. What's it gonna be? Ha ha ha. Akiyama, was it? I'm afraid you've got the wrong idea. Oh, yeah? How you figure? You didn't lend us shit. You gave it to us. So, you see, you can't ask for it back. That'd be just plain rude. Oh, well, why didn't you just say so? Damn straight, glad we're seeing eye to eye. Absolutely. Now, I'm gonna have to ask you to give it back to me. What? Just playing along with your little game. Now, give it back to me before things get ugly. Ha, <laughs> this guy's a riot. You seriously think you can take us? We won't know unless I try, will we? Oh, I definitely know, but hey, why not? I'll send you back to your bitch secretary in a body bag. Okay, the music's great. Okay, it's a dude with a gun, so I'm just gonna... Yep. It's fine. There's enough time where he can't use an attack after my kicks. Okay, maybe not. This might just be a very annoying quest. That's it, get him in the corner! Fuck him up! That was quick. Uh-oh. I love how the other guy's just sitting there. Not even reacting to any of this. Okay, and then just... Now you're taking over. Now you're both in the corner. What are you gonna do? Can't do anything. That's what. Okay, uh... You can upgrade your abilities! Yeah, I mean, let's just use this. 
There's not there's a new item to pick up anyway. Oh my god. When nearing victory against a powerful enemy, you are able to perform Essence of Counter Attack. If you hate gauges in the field, press the corresponding. Okay. I got it. Oh my god. Okay, this this hardly seems fair. <laughs> okay, like that's not what I was expecting him to pick up. I was expecting him to pick up the computer desk. I mean, the computer, not the whole fucking desk. I was thinking, pick up the computer monitor. That takes the whole desk. What am I made out of? Sateto, Kaisho san. Mate, wakata. Kokeku me wakaisu. Ore? それはもらったものじゃなかったでしたっけ返さなくても結構ですよ。あんたをぶちのめしてから勝手にもらっていきますから。くそ。この通りだ。勘弁してくれ。しょうがないね。それじゃあどうしてこんなことをしたのか全部
today, Lily Chan's day at the last day at the club. She has to sell a total of three million in three days. I should drop by and see if she needs any pointers. We just got here, dude. Oh, no, I have to dress her up, don't I? Fuck. Fuck. Okay, well... I'll do my best, but... Ugh. Another makeover. Well, we will see. Okay. Hi, I'm here to give Lily Chan her last training session. Of course, feel free to go to the back room. You can now train your hostess between her shifts. Training allows you to improve the service stats that's important to train consistently. Look, smarts, and charisma, as well as motivation and stress can be affected by training. All important factors when taking customer service into account. Some customers may pour, pay more attention to these subtle details as opposed to what outfit she's wearing. After all, it's what's on the inside that counts. Have they changed this? However, please be aware that excessive training will make a hostess stressed out. This can be remedied by having a hostess rest during break. Also note that repeating the same training may not be effective. Hostesses are humans. They get bored too. Use both coordination and training to cultivate an excellent hostess. Remember, we're aiming for the top here. Now, let's give training a try. Okay, so this is different to the previous one. Training. Uh, I mean, looks are a C. Everything else is a B, so I guess looks. Let's work on your presentation. Makeup, hair, posture, all these things send signals to a man. I see, tell me more. I doubt we'll need the makeover. You're doing very well. Good job out there. Thank you. It's all thanks to your help. Oh, but now... Huh? Now it went down? Now she's not as smart? Okay, uh, let's just go to the club. Charismatic. 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 Okay. Talking tips. Right now I'd like to give you some conversation tips to help you captivate the customers. Sound good? Sounds great. Okay, it's gonna put the stress a little up. Charisma is an A. Alright, there we go. Haha. -ha. Good shit. Alright, now we go to the club. Lily Chan has a ton of customers requesting her. Good. Why didn't I shack up with a smooth talking girl like you? My marriage is a wreck. The fuck? Angered the customer. Lily looks a little tired. I think I'm done surveying. Time to head back to the room. The fuck happened there? Am 
I think we need to give a rest. I think you should spend your downtime doing whatever you like. Relax. Really? Thank you. It'll show. Apparently it's super stressful to be charismatic. <laughs> Apparently so. Did you make the most of your time? You seem pretty relaxed now. Yes, I feel a lot better. Apparently her smarts went up by being more relaxed, okay. I guess that makes sense, making stupid moves because stressed. Okay. So far, so, so good. As long as I don't have to dress her up, I'm happy. That dude, though, it's like, oh, why didn't I shack up with you? My marriage is such a wreck. It's like, you do realize that it's the girl's profession here to talk that way, right? See you next time. All right, we'll see what happens. I've taught you everything you know. Oh, I know. It's all up to you now. Okay. There's still some time until the club closes. Good luck. Thank you. The manager will contact me once he's calculated your sales. We just need to wait until then. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I've done all I can do. Guess I'll go wait for the results over at Sky Finance. I'm definitely having a donut after this. <laughs> I can't believe it's gonna be windy again. Like, what the fuck, dude? It's kind of wild. I thought it was my computer fan, but it's <laughs> outside. Hello, Akiyama-san. So, how did Lily-chan do? I just finished totaling her receipts. Let's see here. Over the three days, she made 3.7 million. Hot damn, that's incredible. I know you said she'd only be here for three days, but the club would really benefit if she decided to keep working here. She has a rare talent for keeping customers happy. Business has been booming ever since she came. <laughs> that's great to hear. Is Lily-chan there now? I'd like to speak with her if she is. Certainly. One moment, please. Hello? Lily speaking. Hey, Lily-chan. I heard you did well. Yes. And it's all thanks to you, Akiyama-san. Nonsense. That's all you, Lily. Your natural talent and hard work. But without your guidance, I'm not sure I would have passed the test. And for that, I'm incredibly grateful. Happy to help. Now, about that money, I have it ready if you have the time to meet. Sure. Where should I go? How's the roof of the Millennium Tower sound? We can meet up there. Okay, I'll be waiting. Great. Till then. That's, uh, that's a weird spot to meet. I guess this is where shit's gonna hit the fan. Walking around with a money suitcase, that's... It's gonna go well. I wish it was summer, and then I would have ice cream with the donut. It's too cold for that.
I'm supposed to meet Lily Chan on the roof. I can take one of the elevators inside to the top. You will eat ice cream in winter too if you feel it. Damn. <laughs> I mean, I guess if it's. It can be warm enough. You don't let seasons dictate if you have ice cream or not. No, I mean. I guess if you're used to the cold, I'm just a wuss, I guess. Haven't truly experienced a real winter. What are you doing? I would not- <laughs> that would, like, stress me the fuck out. You'd die in my heat, so guess we're even. Yeah, I mean, it's not too bad when you're indoors. Air conditioning does it. It's not as bad as you would think. You, you kind of base it off because, I guess, air conditioning isn't a standard thing. Whereas in here, it, it is required. Well, here's your loan. 100 million yen, as we agreed. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, I wouldn't open that just yet. Huh? What if the wind blew it away? You'd have a hell of a time trying to get it back. Oh, right. That would be awful. Heh, <laughs> I'm just teasing you. It's all neatly bundled up. Go ahead, take a look. Okay. It would be like not having proper heating here. Well, over there. Yeah. Pretty much. Hard to believe it all fits in there, huh? Hmm? That briefcase contains about a third of what the average college graduate makes his entire life. And his monthly pay is a tiny fraction of that. Strange to think how a man can struggle so much for so little. It's true. But even that can be enough to change someone's whole life. Akiyama-san, thank you so much. My pleasure. At first I... I was planning to just take the money and run. Yeah? But you... you believed in me. You made me feel like it was okay to dream again. It had been so long since I had felt that way. That's why I'm going to pay back every last yen no matter how long it takes. Yeah, uh, about that. Don't worry about it. What? No interest either. Although, it's not like Sky Finance charges it anyway. I don't understand. I'm not in the business for the money. Money changes people's lives. I just like to see it happen up close and personal. Why did you choose this sort of test for me? Are you sure you want to know? I don't normally tell folks the reasoning behind the tests I give them. I'm sure. Well, this time around it wasn't about seeing how serious or determined you were. Truth be told, I was just testing myself. I don't understand. Hmm, how do I put it? Let's just say I don't consider myself the best judge of character. Why is that? I've been betrayed a lot over the years. It'd almost be funny if it weren't so tragic. <laughs> That's awful. But it's true. The bank I worked at set me up then cut me loose. The woman I loved walked out on me. It's been one thing after another ever since. Just the other day, a Yakuza I'd been backing straight up killed a guy and disappeared. It got me wondering if I should bother trusting anyone anymore. Kiyama san. I guess it's all just part of the job. Still. I'd be at least. I'd at least like to think I'm safe with the people I trust. I'm only human, you know? So, how did having me work at your club test you? Because I found you alluring. Enough to make three million in three days. I wanted to see if my hunch was right. Sorry to put you through all this for something so stupid. No, it's okay. I feel really lucky to have met you. Maybe. But luck isn't something that just finds you. You have to get out there and put yourself in a position to be lucky. And for what it's worth, I couldn't be happier that you passed the test. 
違います。大女優ってバーの店長もそうだろ。まあ、しゃ。あのライター。ライター。そう。君が初めてうちの店に来た時に持ってたライター。あれだよ。あのライター、大女優って店のだったでしょ。そのことを聞いたら君は以前世
I'm afraid I don't ask for your help. The club may be in danger of going under. Really? Well, we want to avoid that. Okay, I'll be there soon. Good, I'll be there. See you there. Why do I get the feeling he's, like, giving away all his money? To her. Hello, sir. Thank you for coming all this way. Hi, so how's the club doing? Well, as I said on the phone, business isn't very good. I see. What's the problem? We just don't have enough girls, sir. There's a lot of competition out there in Kamarocho and everyone is looking for girls. The other club employs scouts to find new girls and even hire professional trainers for the girls on their payroll. We should do the same if we want to compete. Otherwise, we'll keep losing money. Ah, okay. I see. I'll take care of this myself. Huh? But you're the owner. I don't have a choice. It'll cost too much to hire people to do it. Besides, I can handle it, I think. As you say, sir. We'll leave it in your hands, then. Let us know if you need our help. Here's a little money to use. I'm afraid we can only spare 100,000 yen now. Okay, so here's... Yep, this is the minigame. Every little bit helps. I'll get more money once my girls start generating revenue for the club, right? Of course, sir. The more money your girls make for the club, the more money you'll have available to use. Naoki will assist you again. It's a pleasure to work with you again. Likewise. The first step is finding some promising girls. If you find a girl that you like on the street, bring her back here. Good luck. The game story will not advance while you are recruiting girls for the club. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. This shit again. Nope. Well, it says I should head back to Sky Finance. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do the mini game again. Ugh. I'm sure that I'm sure they'll be fine without me. I feel like I'm going to make the club close down quicker if I help. Ugh, fine. I guess we gotta look around. It has to be a girl that's on her own. The things you gotta do. I just, I worry I'm gonna get dragged into a battle. Oh, there's a girl on her own. Not to sound like a creep. <laughs> oh, it's a high school girl, never mind. You have to see my avatar. I made it the other day on Amobitar. Isn't it the cutest thing ever? Well, it looks exactly like you. Wait, what's Amobitar? What I thought you said you read, read, read my blog, blah, 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 blah. You haven't updated your blog in the last couple of weeks. I thought you'd given up on blogging. Oh my gosh, I posted on my old blog that I started a new one on Omega blog. Oh. <laughs> 
they're talking about Facebook. Or some shit. Oh, what's that? You're talking about Facebook? Oh, okay. I see. You're gonna talk about how many likes you got on your, your previous post? Rating fatigue has kicked in a little. I sent metal garbage. Um, I'm not sure where to look. Excuse me, would you like to be part of my club? No, piss off. My friend's boyfriend proposed to her on the rooftop of the Millennium Tower. Isn't that romantic? Hmm. Surprised they even got up there, only authorized personnel. She said her boyfriend did everything he could to make it happen. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, hey, how about we get something to eat? Want to be part of my club? No. Okay. Oi. Yeah. What are you doing? Hmm? Playing Pachinko. Pachinko? On your phone? Yeah, it's called 77 Town. Haven't you heard of it? It's an app that lets you play Pachinko or slots anywhere on... Yeah, you got the idea. Wow, well, cool. Let's... Let me try. No way. Don't you have a date soon? And by soon, I mean like now? Oh, come on. It's just a game. One go. 77 Town. Sounds like something the girls at the club might be into. Okay. Damn, this is easier said than done. I haven't found anyone. This, you would think this would be, uh, easier. Hey, wanna be part of my club? No. Okay. Oh, come on, man. I wasn't even facing you. What do you mean? honestly give up on this. If I can't find her in like the next five minutes. It's not like I'm gonna see that game mode all the way through, you know? I mean, at best, I'm gonna probably touch it maybe once or twice and then leave it. I'm not even sure where to look. Maybe the mall? Would you like to be part of my club? This makes me hungry. Look at that.
It says I this. It says I should head back to Sky Finance, but then it's like, no, you're recruiting. What are you doing? I did a lap of the city. I don't understand. Ugh. One more lap. I might look this up if this is this annoying. In the other games, like, they were pretty much outside the club. That was easy. Nope, okay. I feel like I'm, like, hunting a rare Pokemon or something. Hey, you wanna be part of my club? No. Alright, well, let's eat something while we're here. Beef rice, yeah. I don't know where to look. Okay, fuck this. I'm bored of this. Um, Yakuza for recruit hostess. Talk to the guy outside your club and he'll tell you some locations. Okay. Is, is this going to be a case of because I didn't talk to the dude outside the club, it, it's, it just didn't register? I'm gonna hate it if that's it. Because I feel like I walked all over town. That would truly, truly be frustrating. No, 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 no. Let's see. It's going okay, I guess. Have you tried looking in front of the Millennium Tower? Bars, underground mall. Okay, in front of the Millennium Tower, bars, underground mall. Okay. Well, I mean, I went to a bar, so... Let's try Buntum. We sure didn't get many people at the show today. We even had to pay for the tickets because no one would buy them. I'd take any kind of sales at this point. Even 500 yen would break a new record. Right now we're losing money every time we play a show. And I can't really ask my parents for money. Come on guys, don't talk like that. Sorry, I gotta go to work. See you later. Bye then. I gotta get going too. I thought you didn't work today. My job at the convenience store isn't making me enough cash. Gotta go find another job. I'll head off to see her. I really need to get a job too. I could try recruiting her for the club. All right, perfect, done. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a minute? What, no, you can't have my number. I don't want your number. I was wondering if you were interested in working as a hostess. You mean like at a club? I couldn't help but overhearing your conversation. 
If you need money, working at a hostess club is a great option. Hmm. Actually, that might be interesting. Sure, I'll do it. Then it's settled. I'll show you to the club. Come on. Alright. Cool. Welcome to Elise. We're going to make you into this club's number one hostess. You'll need to come up with a name to use at the club. What would you like your name to be? <laughs> Can I please? I'm not going to make the same mistake again. Will it actually- will it fit this time? Oh my god. <laughs> Didn't fit. Okay. What, sh what should her name be? I mean, let's just keep her default name. We could come up with something creative, I don't know. <laughs> we can call her Capitalist. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh dear. Let's get you changed into an outfit that brings out the best of your natural beauty. Don't worry, I'll... Yeah, okay. Damn it, I should have called her Capital Lisa. Oh well. Okay, um... I mean, let's just go with what the previous one had, right? I gotta remember it. Because that was successful, that worked. Nothing happened. This is a little embarrassing. It's time to go into the club floor. Okay. What? But I wanted to do more. Have you heard of super service? Super service? No, I don't believe I have. Yes, when a hostess provides the best service to a customer, she shines like a radiant goddess. That's what we call a super service. Now that I'd like to see. Okay. They haven't requested her, have they? Capitalism doesn't have any customers. Damn. We gotta get capitalism some customers. Gorgeous. We want gorgeous. Gorgeous. This is going to be exactly the same as the previous game. Dress up. Okay, let's try. Oh, I haven't unlocked it. Alright, um, I guess do that. Let's just try and do a repeat. I don't know. different than last time, isn't it? Oh fuck, I don't know. Sure, I guess. No glitter. No color contacts, blush. Uh, I guess that one. Lipstick. 
does that. Okay. Um, more or less, more or less like last time. Accessories. Necklaces. Nah. Nails. Don't do rings. Bracelets, maybe? That's maturity. Luxurious. Flashy. Shake. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. That'll do. Let's not blow the budget. Oh, you can save outfits this time. That's great, but no. That's got a before and after, too. This one's more detailed. Okay, we're gorgeous and flashy and refined. Okay, that's cool. No refinement, but just flashy and gorgeous. This will bode well. Good. Capitalism seems to be keeping us off occupied. Gorgeous. Everyone wants... They want refinement. Okay, which is... Modern and elegant. Yeah, let's do that this time. Seductive and elegant. Mature. Sure, that's seductive and elegant. Um... I don't know. Oh, <laughs> this is worse. Okay, whatever. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. Let's just get this over with. She's got customers. It doesn't matter. The main thing is she has customers. These people don't know what they want. Rank went up, so. Okay. <laughs> That's probably the last we'll see of this. Okay, let's progress the story now. been a good session.
Oh, Chief, welcome back. Hey, Hanachan. Glad to see you're doing better. You really shouldn't mess with people like that. Don't you worry, boss. It'll never happen again, not after all the self-defense training I've got planned. Hmm. So what happened with that lady who came here for the 100 million? What, Lily-chan? Please tell me you didn't learn her the whole thing at once. Actually, I did, just now. What? Yeah, funny thing, really. And, uh, don't be mad, but somehow I don't think we'll be seeing that money again. Whoa. What? What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. Lily-chan told me she'd pay it back, but I got the feeling that's not going to happen. And you lent it to her anyway? Pretty much. What's wrong with you? What's the big deal? Last I checked, this was my company. I can lend money to who I want, when I want. Chief. Besides, this is hardly the first time this sort of thing's happened, so... Why make a fuss about it now? What do you have against Lily-chan? Hana-chan, what's wrong? Grr, that's it! I quit! Huh? Well, that's not good. I need to get gaffed or a fast. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is, it is a bit concerning. Do I have to throw shit at her or just keep up with her? I guess just keep up with her. Oh, you know what music is playing in, in my head as I do this. So, are you going to tell me what's wrong or not? I don't get it, Chief. Why are you going out of your way for this lily son? Huh? I don't care if you're the owner. Lending that much to a total stranger is just plain crazy. Come on, Hana-chan. She passed my test, so I gave her the loan. Same rules I told everyone. Don't lie to me, Chief. I know the real reason you did it. What? It's because she reminds you of eri son. Don't try to deny it. Hanachan, please, it's not like that. Just hear me out. Say what you need to say. It's true, I was pretty blown away at first. I mean, it's not every day the splitting image of your ex comes walking through the office door. Uh-huh. And I won't deny that I have feelings for Lily-chan. Pretty face, great personality, an air of mystery. She's got the whole nine yards. That's not why I gave her the loan. You know I wouldn't do that. Still, you don't believe me, do you? No, it's just... I already knew all that, and it doesn't change the fact that I'm mad at you. Come on, Hana-chan. Don't you Hana-chan me. What are you doing dragging all that baggage around? Eri-san's never coming back. Why can't you accept that? Or did you forget how she left you for another man the minute you got fired? It was never about you, Chief. She was only in it for the money. Leave Eri out of this. Chief, I... Don't. Hearing you talk about her like that only makes it worse. But... You're right, Hana-chan. I've got a lot of baggage weighing me down. I had honestly thought I could get rid of it all, live free, but... I guess there are some things I just can't let go of. That's just who I am, and don't think that's ever going to change. Someone as stubborn as you? Not a chance. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Doesn't that mean I'm going... That doesn't mean I'm just going to magically forgive you. No, guess not. Do I get credit for at least trying? Chief? Hmm? I'm still quitting. Hana-chan... Today made me realize our relationship is a little too codependent. I've been with you eight years now, ever since your banking days. I've always admired you, Akiyama-san, but I think I need some space. There's still a lot I have to figure out about my future in the industry, about my feelings for you. 
but no buts. You've done so much for me over the years, and I know it won't be easy for you being on your own, but you'll be okay, I'm sure of it. Hanachan, wait. Goodbye, Akiyama-san. Akiyama-san, thank goodness. Some seriously shady customers just showed up. They look like Yakuza. So, we get people like that all the time. Yes, but there's more. Apparently, they know Lily-san and they keep asking to see her. They're starting to make a scene. Lily-san? That could be a problem. Yes, sir. Normally, I'd handle this myself, but they came in big in a big group. Okay, hang tight. I'll be right over. Sorry about all this. Please hurry. Running a hostess club can be a real pain sometimes. I better get over to Elise. Nope. <laughs> I can't, can't wait to go back to the modern Yakuza engine where this shit is more easily avo avoidable. Get away from me. Trying to get there without running into anyone else. Oi. Nope. There's one of them standing in front of the club. Quickly go in. Okay. の名の秋山というものです。奏者さんは俺はマジマ組のみんな日中へ。オッケー。マジマ組それってあのカムロ町ヒルズ建設に絡んでる東条会の大幹部のそうよ。あのマジマ組。お、ちょっと待ったね。この曲俺のお箱や。やっしゃいくで。おい、おい、おい。あ、お前の声出すや。おい。あれ。あれ。何やってんだ、悪い。いや。<笑> 
送信ボタンを押したつもりだったんですが押し間違っちゃったみたいでうん申し訳ない暗かったもんでつい暗かったからつい押し間違えた兄ちゃんその話ほんまやな<笑>そうかならまあいいわあったさあ,あのー、南さんでしたっけあっやあの南さんのご用件は何なんでしょうかおおそれやそれこの店にリリって女がおるって聞いてな何やえらいピッピンさんらしいやないかそんでちょっと指名したらなあかん思うでなリリですか申し訳ありませんが彼女は本日をもって店を退店しましたあなんやと<笑><笑>そら困るわ彼女に何かご用ですかそう俺も親父からその女連れてこい言われただけやからな親父親父ってあの真島さんにですかそういうことやせやからリリって女の居場所教えてもらえないかお客様申し訳ありませんがキャストのプライベートを教えるわけにはいかないんですよそういったご用件でしたらお引き取りくださいあありがとう私はね一度自分の店で働いたキャストを理由もなく売るような真似はできないんですよなんやかっこいいこと言うとるやないかええ、私は常にかっこいいオーナーでありたいんですよ。<笑>おもろい兄ちゃんやな。じゃあけど、こっちも遊びやない。ヤクザが何もせん。フランスはスタートゥーロンチェアをロワー。カネデスカ。ナモチョウェイカムカラー、プロブリンジャパニーズ。兄ちゃんの居場所聞き出さんごとには帰られへんねや。どうしてもお帰りいただけないようでしたら実力行使ということになりますねよろしいですかほう、はあ、いい度胸しとるやつねほんならこっちも力づくでも教えてもらうで Okay, so this is the dude that blocks. You can't do cheesy moves. You're just gonna have to get him in a car and <laughs> just do this. The fuck is he drinking mid fight? Oh no. Oh no, he has, he has the breakdancing Majima moves. Oh fuck. This is so obnoxious to fight against. Just kick him in the mouth, the piercing will take his teeth out. Ugh. Ugh. Jeez, brutal. That's a very brutal thing to suggest. <laughs> Yes, go for the most violent thing possible. Like that. Shit. 
just hide in the castle car. Oh, for fuck's sake. No! Gotta heal again. had a piercing like that you know what you're talking about but see that to me just says did you get into a fight where like someone hit you there You did, your teeth never recovered, damn. Well, lesson learnt. <laughs> or I could just do that. That also works. Yeah, that would be pretty painful. しぶといね。さすがマジマ組だ。くそ。またマキルマキには行かんのじゃ。やめよ。お前の歌は。マジ。マジ。親父。まさかあのマジマ組長。この リリーは柴田組に追われていた。まさか真島さん、あんたもそのことに関係しているんですか。そうなんか。柴田組が教えてください。真島さん。リリーは一体何者なんですか。なぜあんたたちに追われなきゃならないんですか。あいつは安子ちゃんは俺が守らなあかんねや。ああ。安子。それが理理の本名ですか。なんであなたが守る必要があるんですか。オッケー。それが俺の償いやからや。25年前のあの日のな。償い Part one complete. I think I know where this is going. <laughs> yes, save the game. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, assuming this ties to Yakuza 0, I think I know. If it doesn't, then I don't. 
You'll find out. Oh, Yodai. Oh. Ah, Majima san, irashai. Ojamasun de. いや、それにしてもあっついなあ。まだ4月やっちゅうのに何やねんな、この暑さは。え、何や、30度もあるらしいわ。ほんま、この国がぶっ壊れとんのとちゃう。この国っちゅうよりもこの世界やろ。オッ
お前人が真剣に喋ってる時に俺は覚悟できとるよ俺もお前と同じや支えの親父のためやったら何でもやるそれにそれにしてみたいんや西島大河っちゅう男がこの登場会でどこまで登れるのかをな西島。But he goes to jail for it. That's basically it. Majima doesn't get to go and he gets、uh... Yeah. He gets tortured. It's a setup. Now, Oria, Sasai Gumino Sajima, Ima Majima to. 待ち合わせの時間なんやけどあいつ来えへんねああそうやちょっとそっちで来よったああもうええ切るでなんや10人以上おるやないかI mean, you would think that all these people would have one gun if they, I don't know. What a waste of ramen. Now, someone has a gun. Controller. Tunnel. Oh, 
親父だけはこの人だけは守らなきゃならないんだ Let me guess, he ran out of bullets. Korimo Oyaji got Tinko to me. We know, sir. Can you? That's Kitty. Nope, okay. Wait, are we actually going to play as him? A few hours after the attack, Taiga Seijima of the Tojo clan Sasai family is arrested for murder after surrendering to the police. Police suspect the attack to be part of a feud between the powerful Tojo clan and its adversary, the Ueno Seiwa clan. Executive Involvement of both clans is investigated as police begin interrogation of Saijima. However, Saijima maintains his silence throughout the interrogation. Unable to establish a direct link to the Tojo clan, police conclude that the incident was a one man job. Saijima is sent to the prosecutor's office. And Majima is somewhere in a warehouse being tortured for years. A few months later, 20 year old Taiga Seijima is given the death penalty for the murder of 18 members of the Ueno Seiwa clan and is immediately transferred to the Tokyo Penitentiary. Decades later, on March 1, 2010, 25 years after waiting his execution, Taiga Seijima is suddenly issued a transfer order. Infinite bullets, yeah. I mean, if you want to be a stickler, you can count the number of shots he fired. Orido. He looks pretty good for 50 something. Yeah, a lot of the characters maintain the looks for age. I mean, Kiri is in his 50s and he looks like he's in his 30s. Maybe he's in his late 40s, something like that. I wonder if anyone else from 1985 is going to be here. Today, this is your border. Go ahead. Take care. Food is 17. Besides the detailed information of the detail, I have to write down the details. ここは普通の刑務所とはわけが違う死刑が執行されるまで少しでも長く生きたいならせいぜい目立たないようにするんだな What the? Aren't you? Tiger Seijima? Hmm. He 
really is you, isn't it? <laughs> Holy shit, Saijima, the stone cold hitman, you're a friggin' legend. Ain't that right, fellas? I'm not a hitman. Say what? I said, I ain't no hitman. Uh, guys, what's going on here? Anta, onto ni saijima nano ka? Onto ni ano saijima taiga nano ka te kiten da yo? Se yatta ra nai yani. Kami sama te yatsu wa honto ni iru nda na. What the fuck? どうやら俺らにも運が回ってきたみてえだ。俺らが誰か分かってるよな。上の聖和だよ。あんたに25年前殺された上の聖和会の若衆の子分だよ。あんたに親取られてから二十数年。この日が来るのをずっと待ってたぜ。親取られた。返しっちゅうわけが。<笑>そんな簡単なもんじゃねえ。俺らの人生をめちゃくちゃにしてくれた。あんたへの復讐だ。あんたに死刑は必要ねえ。きっちり俺らの手で。ぶっ殺してやるぜ。Okay, so I guess we're playing as him now. Oh, shit. <laughs> Holy shit, you can't stop that. He's got a really strong punch. He's almost like a juggernaut type character. Character. He's slower, but the wind up, it does a lot more damage. I don't さっきの勢いを通した。あ？うん。なんだその目は。まだ殴られたのか？おい、サイト。おい、サイト。終わりだ。Oh my god. くそ。なんなんだこいつは。今日は執行日じゃないだろう。ここまでだ。どうしてだ。別にいいだろうか。こんなクズ一人殺したところで。先月もそうやって二人殺しただろう。ちょっとやりすぎだ。いや、and he's still in the job. I'm 
Hermione. The tattoo stayed vibrant for 25 years later. I mean, it was supposedly done by a tattoo master, but you're supposed to get touch-ups from what the game has taught me. この例は高く作るぞ。外のやつに指示して、あんたの口座に一本振り込ませておく。それでいいだろう。ちょうど車検でな。新しいのに買い替えようと思ってたんだ。助かるよ。ふん。あんまり長居すんなよ。じゃ
これでお前は棒を抜け出せるはずだまだ俺はやるとは言うでん<笑>やるさあんたはやる<笑>やるに決まってるさ清和会が生き残っとるやとはあ,あそうだ上の世話は今も都内の島で活動している組織を拡大してなお前俺がシャバのこと何も知らん思てでたらめ言うとるんだちゃうんかい嘘じゃねえそれに上野は今じゃ登場会の親戚だあの事件の後登場会は上野と五分の逆立つ交わしたんだよ<笑>どういうことじゃあんたは上野義治を取り損ねただが実質上あの事件の後の上野世話会は虫の息だったしかし上野世話会は潰れなかったなんでそれはなあんたの親父さんのせいなんだ。He was set up. 親父のあの25年前の事件の直後、支えのおじぎは事件の責任を取って急遽引退してしまった。もしあん時、あんたの親父さんが引退してなければ、支え組は直系の組として昇格してただろう。なんでなんで親父はさあな支えが消えちまった今となっては真相は分からんだが支えのおじきの引退により組は解散そして昇格したのは他でもないあの柴田組だ柴田組そう支え組と直系昇格を争ってたあの柴田組だ結局25年前のあの構想事件は支えのおじきとあんたから全てを奪い去っちまっただけの出来事だったんだよあんたの気持ちはよくわかるぜ、西島さんよ。さぞかし無念だろうよ。あんたは極道としての義理を貫き通した。失敗だったとはいえ、たった一人で、敵対する組織の幹部衆を十八人もぶっ殺した。あんたは登場界の伝説なんだぜ、西島さんよ。でもな25年前のあの事件実は裏でもっと面白い話があったんだよあの日あんたはもう一人の兄弟分と一緒に上野を襲うはずだったでもやつは来なかったそうだろ実はあれはな最初から計画されていたことだったんだよそう、the reality of it all suck in yet? Look, I get it. Shit stings knowing your brother went and stabbed you in the back. But now you know the truth. I don't imagine you will be happy just sitting in here, nice and quiet, till your day to hang. That snake in the grass machine has been living the high life, throwing his weight around Kamurocho like he's the king of the damn world. While you're rotting away in this hellhole, stuck shoving down some of the worst slop known to man just to survive. If that's not the textbook definition of fucked over, I don't know what is. 
way I see it, you've only got one shot at settling the score, but you're never going to do that if you don't get out of here. We'll make our escape tonight at one o'clock while everyone's sound asleep. I'm not going to remember this. <laughs> I'll get out of my cell using one of the two keys I made. You do the same with the other. I'll wait by the entrance till you're out. Next step is all you. Once you're ready, throw your bed down over the rail to distract the guards. They'll be on your ass in an instant, so just keep them busy while I slip behind and head to the warden's office. We'll meet there once you're done dealing with the guards. At the warden's office? Oh, at the warden's office, why there? There's something there I'm gonna need once we're on the outside, but don't worry about that. Right. After we reconvene, we book it across the yard, over to the far wall, the one with the guard tower. Once we make it... Once we make our way up with a grappling hook, we'll be home free. A grappling hook? How the hell did you get a hold of something like that? I haven't. Not yet. What? That's where you come in. Keep talking. Your job is to find something we can use as a rope, and some kind of hook to go with it. Yeah? And how are you expecting me to do that? You get all kinds of interesting folk in here. And those interesting folks smuggle all sorts of interesting stuff. Weapons, food, you name it. So what, you want me to barter? More or less, there's one guy in particular who will really get things moving. Take a look. Poor bastard had a booming business down here in Okinawa. Got caught up in the Yakuza shitstorm, though. Ended up busted for illegal arms manufacturing. Luckily for us, his skills got him good with the guards. They even let him set up a little workshop here. Long as he's got the materials, he can make damn near anything. All you gotta do is get him what he needs. Anyway, let me know once you've got that grappling hook. Better hurry, though. Daylight's fading fast. Okay, well... One sec. I'm gonna say, guess what? Oh, you're the one who they hold in yesterday, right? Yep, heard you're good with your hands. That's right, sir. I made a name for myself on these islands as well. Let's just say, I'm a craftsman of sorts. Or at least I was until I got thrown in here. What's a regular old citizen getting dumped in one of these high security prisons in the country? I suppose I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I was minding my own business, doing some business with some fine gentlemen who turned out to be Yakuza. When the police showed up for them, they took me in too. Once they started looking into my livelihood though, they figured out I was involved in some uh, less than legal activities. Folks in my line of work call those crimes. What kind are we talking? Well, um, I made, modded, bought, and sold all kinds of deadly weapons. Oh? I never heard of soul, though. Uh, no siree, not directly anyway. Not to mention the fact I got forced into the business to start with. You don't say. Well, whatever your story, I got a favor to ask. Gonna need you to make me a grappling hook. Think you can manage that? Anything's possible as long as I have the materials. May I ask why? You can ask, but I ain't telling. You're better off not knowing anyhow. I, uh, alright, then. Do you need it to be especially sturdy? Sturdy enough to hold a person or two. I see. Well, alright, no more questions from me then. Just bring me a nice thick chain, and that grappling hook should be a cinch. Fortunately for you, I saw one of the inmates swinging one around the other day. Oh yeah? Just try to keep things civil, okay? The guards won't- well, the guards would be on you on the flash if you start trouble. Right, thanks. That's not what I was gonna do. I was going to do this.
I really wish before you start a chapter it would ask if you'd like to continue. But then it just started the cutscenes and I was like, alright, let's, let's just let the cutscenes play. I'm sure it'll only be 5 to 10 minutes and here we are 20 minutes later. <laughs> but, whatever. I'm leaving it here for tonight, that's good enough. It's a good stopping point, we'll start this dude's chapter next time. So we'll be playing as him for a while. I imagine it's just a whole prison break sequence. Alright, well that's gonna do it for tonight. I'm gonna go eat a donut <laughs> and probably stay out for a bit. Cause uh, it's windy again outside and fuck sleep I guess. Alright, I'll uh, be back tomorrow at some point depending on when work finishes up. But yeah, take care chat, I'll see you next time.